Hey guys, what's up? Um, got a few things here I was going to share with you guys today. Um, first, let's take a look at this moon footage I caught here. Um, now, see, this is the the issue, the problem that I have with the moon, and I've said many times, you know, it doesn't seem real to me because it's not the moon I grew up with, and it's just, you know, um, that's my fact. That's that's me, and. Uh, I know other people say it's always been this way and that's fine for them, but it hadn't been for me and a lot of other people I talked to find it very weird that the moon is acting the way it's acting. It's, you know, the way it, the, the crescent isn't right. It's not, it's, it's just weird what it's doing. But this is what I'm talking about here. This, this is the issue. See the plane, see, and you can tell by looking, look how close that plane looks to the moon. I mean, it's like right there, you know? So it looks closer to the moon than it does to us here on Earth. So anyway, then look how the plane leaves the, see the little trail it leaves behind there? Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's just, that's just normal. I mean, what would it look like if a plane flew by a uh, hologram um, projected up in the sky. Well, what would that do, I wonder? Would it look something like this? Because you see the, the sun footage where you see the planes, it appears they go through the sun. That's kind of what this is, but you know, it didn't go through it, but it looked like it was uh, pretty close there because it was, you know, of course, I guess it could be just exhaust um, fumes or something like that. I mean, I don't know. I just thought it was weird. Thought I'd share it with you guys. So, all this uh, business about Nibiru. Um, here's the thing with it. Um, it's been a struggle for me because I've seen things myself. I've filmed things myself and I'm like, what, you know, what am I catching here? What am I seeing here? Um, and uh, well, what's hard for me is the, the cuneiform Sumerian clay tablets. Um, I mean, are those things even real? Because look, they got Inky and Enlil and this whole business about creation of man. I mean, that's blasphemy propaganda and uh, so that right there makes the whole thing no validity whatsoever so um, and it, it, if there is a Nibiru I mean is it a huge ship uh, and if, if it is a huge ship it doesn't mean it come from outer space okay um, the Bible does talk about um, Anu which uh, some people speculate is uh, you know referring to Anunnaki but I mean I don't know about that all I know is that the, the clay tablets the cuneiform uh, Sumerian um, ancient so-called ancient documents um, they have blasphemy in there against the Bible so that's where my problem is with the whole Nibiru thing okay so don't nobody get mad at me because I don't know I mean all I know is that the cuneiform um, and, and for a long time I've thought this you know and that's why I've always thought if there's a Nibiru it's a ship it's not a planet who knows and by the way it doesn't matter what shape the earth is in my opinion I don't care um, the one thing that I'm comfortable with is we're not on a spinning ball and I've always believed that uh, even going to school as a kid I, that's why I looked into whenever I seen all the bi business about the flat earth I thought well I'm gonna check this out because I've never thought we was on a spinning ball um, you know right along with the Darwinism all of that nonsense so um, it's it, it's probably mostly flat <laughs> Um, all it's doing is causing division between um, good people, you know, and, and so is the Mandela effect. And, and it, these things make me wonder, are these things some kind of psyop being put on us to divide us, you know? It's like, come on, guys, be uh, civil to one another. It's just hard to watch all these people arguing back and forth about different things, people attacking people just because they don't share their belief, you know? So I'm just uh, putting it out there. You know, come on, guys. Uh, enough with the backbiting stuff, okay? Now, here's some footage I captured with the P-1000 of a couple of stars I just wanted. It's it's, it's pretty quick, so I've been on to check it out because I've been messing with this focus wheel, and um, and I think this one here I got pretty uh, tuned into, and there's one more star, um, but check it out. Look how it changes colors and. You know, it's, it's very strange. <laughs> it's um, uh, frequencies. Um, you know, it is frequencies. Um, or it appears to be. 
pretty interesting i wondered if these could be those things that burn out and then you know those spheres that they've been finding all over the planet for the last past i don't know how many years look at them faces in there um but um or are those spheres that they're finding falling from you know falling from the sky and hitting the earth um if those are the chem bots burning out you know i mean um i don't know i believe uh, those are just it's like what are those things you know so there's a chance it could be these things you know because this is not a star i mean what the heck is it i don't know maybe it's attached to the firmament i mean i don't know they're really interesting though they look like they're underwater um here's the other one this is a different star and uh, i mean this one here is going to making faces and everything in there look a uh, change in colors really fascinating You know, I was thinking about how the skies seem to keep changing. Um, and I have wondered for a while if it's related to the reality shifts. For example, if uh, CERN is blowing up a universe every time they crash in particles and we're moving down to the next sequential one, then the skies could be a bit different in that one. Next time it happens, different yet again, you know. Just, I don't know, but you know, it's, it makes me wonder if uh, these reality shifts that uh, a lot of people are experiencing, the skies are different every time, you know, we have a shift. There's, you know, people afraid to talk about this that, you know, fear that people will think that they're, you know what I mean? But um, I, I'm not, uh, you know, I, I'm only talking about what I see and uh, and perceive that's happening, and uh, you know, this is unusual. So there is others out there I know that have to, you know, see the same thing that we're seeing. You know, so anyway, here is a um, image I caught on a movie a couple of weeks ago. I was watching, so I snapped a shot of it so I could show you guys. This is what I remember. Okay, see the moons uh, going across the top there? This is like an ancient pictograph or something. Um, but there's the moon phases right there. That's, that's what I remember, too. So what's going on now, you know, and here's one of my pictures, of a couple of my pictures of the moon here with the, uh, you know, straight up and down, sideways, no longer. Just, to, you know, it's just flipped. So that's what I was talking about and uh, what's, you know, kind of, Funny is like, wow, you know, you don't even, I mean, wouldn't this be news? Uh, shouldn't, you know, scientists be talking about this? This is the puzzling thing. It's like you see these things happening like this, and you just, you know, you scratch your head. Like, wow, why isn't the Neil deGrasse Tyson or any of these, you know, big shot scientists, why are they talking, why aren't they not, you know, talking about this? So it just leaves you wondering what is going on, so. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you guys there. Oh yeah, I forgot about this one. This is a time lapse, and check out the the flashing. And I don't know what is causing the camera to do this. It's never done it before. I've never had this happen before. Um, it's kind of strange. But what's even a little more strange is look at the upper right to the sun, lower, but to the right there. Yeah, right there. Um, it, it, look, that's it appears to be behind the clouds, so it don't seem like a lens flare is uh, what I'm saying. And this is a time lapse, so I wasn't actually there, you know. And even when you're looking up there with your bare eyes, you know, it's, it's really hard. But you can't see. It, it, the light of the sun uh, washes out, uh, you know, everything that's close around it. So uh, anyway, I just thought that was interesting. Um, because it it looks like something's up there i don't know what it is but uh i would share that with you guys but the flashing i don't know that's kind of strange and then add the two together it just seemed kind of you know what's up with that you know oh and this is a time lapse so it's not video it's you know a series of pictures uh making the time lapse uh video so it's individual pictures being taken and some are brighter than others which is like i mean is it a camera glitch? I mean, I don't know, <laughs> but it's taking pictures. Um, I've never had it to do that before, so it's just kind of weird. Hey, that's it, you guys. 
I appreciate y'all watching. Thank y'all so much. Y'all have a good one. Stay safe. Take care and God bless.